Welcome to News Once's Fact Check. Are Biden's vaccine mandates unlawful? Washington, CNN, President Joe Biden's new vaccine requirements could apply to as many as 100 million Americans, or almost two-thirds of the American workforce, and have spawned a predictable pushback from a handful of Republican states, making them the latest frontier in the fight between the administration and state officials over how to address the ongoing pandemic. Though the specific rules for the vaccine mandate have yet to be written, several Republican state officials have already said they intend to challenge them. Christy Nome claimed the mandates are a gross example of federal intrusion, and Georgia Governor Brian Kemp called part of Biden's plan a blatantly unlawful overreach. As part of his plan to increase vaccinations, Biden last week directed the Labor Department to require all businesses with 100 or more employees to mandate that their workers are either vaccinated or tested for COVID-19 once a week. Major business lobbies like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce have been largely supportive of the proposed vaccine mandate. The AFL-CIO and a number of major labor unions have also come out in favor of the mandate, though there has been opposition from several law enforcement unions, some of whom have questions about how Biden intends to implement his plan. Biden's plan relies on the Department of Labor's ability to issue an emergency temporary standard to protect workers from new hazards, as long as employees are exposed to grave danger, and the standard is necessary to protect them from that danger. This power stems from the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970. Read more. If you like this video please subscribe. That authority, however, is rarely used and previous instances have been challenged in court. Before the coronavirus pandemic, this authority had not been used since 1983 when the court struck down an emergency temporary standard on asbestos, according to a July 2021 report from the Congressional Research Service. In June 2021, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, a regulatory agency within the Department of Labor, issued an emergency temporary standard outlining measures to protect healthcare workers at higher risk of exposure to COVID-19. How the current situation stacks up against precedent. Legal experts who spoke to CNN suggested Biden's mandate and OSHA's new emergency temporary standard could face a tough fight ahead. Whether the new mandate is lawful will depend on how OSHA articulates the grave danger in question here and how the courts that are hearing the inevitable challenges view the matter, labor and employment lawyer Brett Coburn of Alston and Bird LLP told CNN. Arguably, preventing the spread of COVID in workplaces provides the strongest justification for use of an emergency temporary standard that OSHA's seen in its 50 plus year history, Lindsay Wiley. Josh Blackman, a South Texas College of Law professor who specializes in constitutional law, is less confident that OSHA's authority to impose an emergency temporary standard is applicable to address the current situation. You're basically trying to take an old statute and pour new life into it, Blackman. 